Good morning guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, Case in the background, there's just stuff everywhere. I haven't even shown you downstairs. We have just got back off holiday. Last night, if you saw my Cos holiday vlog, let me know what did you think. Um, but yeah, we had such a lovely time. Feels good to be back but I do have a lot to get done today. I thought I'd pick up the camera um, to vlog a kind of like summer clean, organized, getting the washing done, doing all of that kind of like post holiday stuff. But I also thought I'd pick up the camera because I'm actually heading off to the Trafford Center this morning for an appointment with Jo Malone to discover their new orange marmalade scent, I think it's called. I think it's something to do with Paddington Bear. We will we'll find out together. We will discover it together. Um, I also have a load of PR bits that have been delivered whilst I've been away that I thought we could open later on today when I get back home. And it's also 27 degrees today in England. So we've brought the sunshine back from Greece. I'm hot, but I'm definitely nowhere near as hot as it was when we were in Greece. So feeling grateful for a bit of a bit of relief from that 40 degree heat. Anyway, I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing first and foremost. It is this dress which I got from Next last year though. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I wore this to an event to the Trafford Centre with them where I went to the new Bath and Body Works store opening last year, was it? Yeah, um, but I, I just really love it. It's just nice and floaty, maxi white dress. I've just done a few curls in my hair, simple makeup. I'm gonna go pop on a little bit of jewelry. Uh, not sure what bag and shoes to wear because a lot are still in my case that I need to unpack. I might go with Birkenstocks to make it a bit more casual. I'm gonna decide which ones to wear. But anyway, I will head to the Trafford Centre, bring you guys with me, and let's start the day with a lovely appointment at Jo Malone. So I'm a little bit early to my appointment, so I've just come into Abercrombie and & Fitch and they've got some gorgeous new like transitional knitwear, these little vests I love, but then they've also got the little tees. They've got the stripes, the green, lemon. They are 40 pounds. I'll leave these linked because I think they're such a good little staple for, like I said, for this sort of time of the year where it's we still get some nice warm summer days. But um, we're heading to, obviously, the cooler autumn months also they've got these ones over here a bit more summer appropriate because they're more of like a boat neck vest gorgeous thick knit and then again like a boat neck kind of high neck style these thick chunkier necks how much are these they again are 40 pounds and then even more kind of like autumn appropriate they've got the cardigans the striped asian uh, cream is probably my favorite but then they've got the block black and white and the black stripe, and they are 65. Got about 10, 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna check out the Zara sale. Not that I need any more clothes, especially summer clothes, but we'll have a look and see what they've got. I think it's not like, yeah, it's just a small sale section now, which is far more manageable. So I'm not going to get to have the Joe Malone appointment after all and I'm just going to have to email the team, let them know that I've been and it is what it is, the entire store is closed down, but just Selfridges which is weird. So anyway, doing a little bit of shopping whilst I'm here, got some bits from Abercrombie. We'll have a quick look elsewhere, then head back home. You're balanced very precariously and I don't think you're going to stay there if I do any jolting movements. So. Yeah, what a shame. So Selfridges completely shut, some kind of power outage on their tills, which means you can't pay for anything. And even those people who had prepaid appointments 
or um, events like myself where I wasn't necessarily buying anything anyway all cancelled and they don't know when it's going to reopen so I could have waited but it might not be open for the rest of the day so they're hoping to do some of the Joe Malone appointments later on this afternoon but it means that I've missed out being a morning appointment so that's a shame it's already at 10 past 12 that I've just grabbed myself um, some lunch from Rhett just a little salmon poke bowl um, so I'm going to eat this I can't believe I was sat in 40 degree heat yesterday it's crazy how is it able to get that hot anyway I'm going to enjoy my little lunch I did grab a coffee as well because I haven't had a coffee yet today a um, couple of bits from the shop so I'll show you those when I get back home um, but I might actually go via TK Maxx which is just around the corner it's a bit of a drive away um, it's like five minute drive from the Trafford Centre. Joe Malone did actually send me the fragrance before coming for this appointment. So I do have one thing from the new range that I can show you. It's the other PR bits that I got, but yeah, for now. Little lunch time. And then head back home. Okay, for a bit of reality now, I'm gonna share, share with you the mess. The current state of this house, along with, oh, the bits that I've bought. I have this ironing board cover first and foremost and look where I had to do my ironing this morning. On the island, which is not good, and there's a fly in here, I've just opened the doors. Uh, this cover is from Zara Home and so I knew I already had this but we needed an ironing board. For some reason, we misplaced the ironing board because I used to have one. I don't know if it was during the renovations or what, but anyway, I just picked up this one for 15 pounds, no, 20 pounds from Dunelm. It's just white, simple, and obviously with the cover on it, which I've measured up, which fits. It's just gonna be a simple, essentially beige and white ironing board. Just very simple. So I'm glad I've got that now because we've been needing one of those for a very long while. One thing I have got to catch up on, which I'm very excited for, is Love Island, because obviously I've been away for a week. In fact, it might even be finished by the time I'm uploading this video, because who knows when this is gonna go live. But um, yeah, I have a whole week's worth to catch up on. I do think it's coming towards the end anyway, so I put an episode on this morning whilst I was getting ready. Anyway, let's share with you the bits that I bought first. So firstly from Abercrombie. Now these, I thought, these were in the clearance. They had quite a lot of sale things in. In the menswear, this is the sort of go-to t-shirt. I've got one grey one that I live in. And it's like an oversized tee, which I wear with leggings and like my belt for dog walks in the morning. So I wanted some more oversized tees that were like long enough to cover my bum with just leggings or even like cycle shorts when it's warmer. So I saw these in a large, they were in the men's clearance and they were priced at 15 99 from 30. And they're just like a muted sage green, like a raw reg, just very simple, but love the quality of their t-shirts. Their t-shirts are my go-to for basics. So I picked up two, because I thought I'm gonna get my wear out of it. But when I went to the checkout, it was only, they were £9.59 each. So much cheaper than I thought. Had I have known that, I might have picked up a third, maybe in a different colour. Then I did go to the Zara sale, didn't pick anything up. It's actually really busy, which weekday, I was expecting it to be quieter. I don't know why it was so busy. Maybe is it school holidays busy? I don't know. But it was, especially with it being hot weather. I didn't think it was going to be that busy, but it was. Anyway, then I popped into Sephora. Firstly, this from Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream, great moisturizer. Let me just check, hold on one second. Just checking, it wasn't like a gardener or something in our garden or the builders or anything, but it's not. It's just someone in a garden behind us that somehow, can you hear that? Got like some industrial machine going. So apologies for that noise. But anyway, Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, I've got the mini of this. And honestly, the mini for the money that you pay to get the mini, you might as well just get the full size. I got the mini to try it, but I can't see anyone not liking it. So that would be my recommendation. Just go for the big one if you've never tried it. 
Um, and then also I got a full size dream coat spray from Color Wow. But again, had the mini, enjoyed it, so decided to repurchase the large one. It's just basically a, a good for skin texture, skin, hair texture, anti-humidity, supernatural spray, they call it. Just spray it on liberally when your hair is damp after you've washed it before styling. It makes it nice and soft and like, like I say, frizz free. And then I also embraced the natural curls on holiday, which a few of you noticed on Instagram and said that it suited me. So thank you for that. I'm not sure if I'll be able to recreate it in England, but I got this to help me try because I find when I'm on the beach, it does go, my hair does go naturally a lot curlier. So I can just kind of, on holiday, I was just crunching it like that and embracing the natural curls. So this is from Moroccan Oil, which I love their products anyway for hair, um, the oil I love, and have used it for years and years and years, way before I even did YouTube. Um, so Intense Curl Cream. We've decided to give this a whirl and see if we can maybe do some more natural curls a bit more often. And then I also got this to try again as a recommended product, Skin Perfecting, Paula's Choice, the Exfoliate one for all skin types, it's got salicylic acid in, which I think helps, yeah. Unclog pores, smooths and evens, and it's a highly rated product. So I thought I would give that a try as like a exfoliator. And then again, a, another product that I wanted to try from Tarte, this is their Shape Tape Concealer, which as you can tell by the packaging, America's number one, obviously loads of people talk about this, but I always just stick to the good old classic collection, Cheapy. I thought, no, you know what? I'm gonna try a different concealer because I've been using that collection one for years and years and years. And who knows, I might go back to it, but I thought, let me venture out and try a bit more of a higher end brand. And Shape Tape is the one I went for. So I got it in the shade Fair. We'll give that a whirl and let you know how I get on with that. So that's everything I got from Sephora. So I always like to confuse it with Zaflora. Speaking of which, I did pick up a new one uh, from B&M. I just stocked up on a couple of bits uh, from B&M. Firstly, this flash dust magnet, which I've had in the past and really like, but I also got the starter kit because I don't know where the other one is. Starter kit along with a refill pack of the new Orange Blossom and Coastal Cypress scent. I didn't even realise this dust magnet came in a scented thing. I thought it was just a duster. Got some bin bags. Another new range of cleaning products that sounded lovely is the Sicilian edition. Sicilian lemon with essential oils. So we've got a Harpic, Harpic Pine. That's just my go-to. So I've just got Harpic Pine. Harpic Toilet Bleach. Pine is the one I usually go for, but we'll try the Sicilian lemon. I've also got a plug-in to pop by the front door and also a Silip Bang lime scale remover um, with that same scent in. So we'll give those a whirl and see what I think to those. Also another new scent for the fabric refresher, which I like to just use on like curtains and the blinds, sorry, upstairs, the sofa and bedding and things. And it is in citrus and white verbena. And this is the new Sephora scent, which I don't think I've ever seen before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is new in Coastal Waves. So there's a spirit lifting blend combining sea salt with refreshing citrus notes of orange and bergamot which sounds right up my alley for summer so we might even use this today oh that is lovely it reminds me a little bit of the mandarin and lime one that they do in fact i think i still prefer mandarin and lime i think that's such a lovely scent for summer another go-to purchase in b&m for me is these john west on the go tuna salads just like as a light lunch option like a lazy lunch and they've got some new flavors so this one is the light one which is greek tuna pasta salad and then we've got an asian chili and garlic infused tuna salad with uh, rice and then a Thai sweet chili tuna salad as well. Oh, I'm gonna have one of these now. I saw in Home Bargains these Highland Spring Spark. I am um, a sparkling water lover, big time. We had far too much of it on holiday to the point where it makes me so bloated, but we always just opt for sparkling water. I don't get it when people say that it's overrated, like, and people pretend that they like sparkling water. Guys, I love sparkling water. It tastes so much more interesting than water. Anyway, so Highland Spring, I've got this pear and elderflower flavor. So I thought I would 
which just sounds really refreshing. Okay, it's quite, um, yeah, it's nice. I don't know if I, the pear is quite strong. I did get a couple cans to just pop in the fridge. I thought that'd be a nice little spritzer with maybe some, a sprig of like rosemary or something with loads of ice in like a gin balloon glass. Some poo bags, the essentials. I thought these ones were quite good for any big dog owners out there. The glamorous life of owning a golden retriever. Oh, I forgot to leave these in the car, but I just picked up these, which I always like to just have in the car. So I'll pop those back in as I am all out of my mint. And then lastly, this Lenore in wash scent booster. Again, a new scent that they've got. And this one's in sandalwood and eucalyptus, kind of looking a bit festive. Not gonna lie with the little pine cones there. That's everything that I picked up on my little venture out to the Trafford Centre. Oh, shall I show you guys? Because I told you that obviously Jo Malone had to cancel, which was such a shame. But the PR bits, let me just check on the pooch. Obviously, as we got back late last night from holiday, we have a bit of organizing to do over this weekend. Firstly, cutting the grass. It's like a jungle out there, having left it for a week. And we're also going to finally move this table down over here before they build the outdoor kitchen, which is happening very soon, like literally, I think this week. And you might be able to see the wire, the black, cable sorry running along we've had that put around the perimeter of the garden for the electrician to come and fit some spotlights and some little lights to light up the garden we're going to light up the wall as well just to at night time be able to have the whole space lit up i think it's going to look really nice that was thriving yesterday and today's heat has made it wilt so i'm going to actually replant that in the herb bed which again is thriving over there <laughs> hi barney <laughs> can you see him down there he's like who are you talking to uh, but yeah we're gonna move this table down and pop out our little bistro set that i got from home sense that we're yet to use we're gonna have a good clean of this patio and move down some of these pots and start placing them in their homes we actually thought about maybe getting a gardener Otherwise, yeah, this is the state of the place. And then let me show you in the front room. Oh, I actually closed the door to it because I don't want to have to face it. But all of my unpacking and washing needs doing as well. All of my PR parcels are in here. So we might as well just sit in here to open them for a sec. Hey, gorgeous boy. Is it a bit hot for you in this weather? It's a bit hot. It would have been way too hot for you in Greece at 40 degrees. Oh, that's a nice chin scratch. You're a cutie pie. I think you missed us when we were gone, didn't you? Probably cooler in here. Oh, that's a heavy pant. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, you're, what is that in your ear? A leaf. A leaf. <laughs> a leaf. What is that? What is that in your fur? I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here. He's like, don't leave me again. Don't leave me again. When I popped out this morning, he, I think he was thinking, hang on a second. Where are you going? Oh, thank you. You're going to lie down then? Good boy. Okay, I'll start with the bits from Jo Malone, seeing as though that's what we missed out on today. Let me move you over a bit. Yeah, such a shame. But this is what they were, I believe, going to be talking to us about. And it's, I mean, just look at the packaging. They have actually emailed to say they're going to send over some bits as an apology, but which is obviously so lovely of them. Even the tissue paper and the box. It's like a little picnic blanket. Look at that tissue paper as well. Oh, I love it. What a cute collaboration. Oh, I'm going to have to get out of this dress after I show you these bits. Maybe even put my hair up because cleaning anyway, <laughs> it's an essential, but cleaning in the heat and sorting out lots, loads of bits and bobs today. Yeah, it's gonna be a hair up and comfies on in a sec. Not that this dress isn't comfy, but comfy, <laughs> comfortable, comfy. Anyway, let's get back to it. So this little box has inside the actual fragrance, which is orange marmalade and exactly how you imagine that would be oh it's delicious 
this is one of my favourite scents that Jo Malone have done as a kind of, I don't know if it's a limited edition or not, but as like a special edition. So even the font and everything, it's very on brand with the theme. Very citrusy, zesty, with a little bit of sweetness with that marmalade, like honey kind of vanilla -y scent. So I love that one. Um, what else did I get whilst I was away? Clinique, their new Smart Clinical Repair AMPM Retinoid Balm. Okay, so you can apply this directly to any facial lines. So crow's feet, smile lines, wrinkle lines, forehead, frown lines, appropriate for blemish prone skin as well. So it's like a balm in a stick. I'm imagining very easy to apply. Lottie London, they've done this collab with Outer Banks. Has anyone actually ever seen Outer Banks, the show? Let me know if you have. We've teamed up with Netflix Outer Banks to bring you a collection of adventure-proof makeup essentials. This would have been good on holiday, I think. Okay, this one looks so nice for summer. I had the Tan Lux tanning oil with me whilst I was there and I loved using that, but this reminds me of that. It looks a little bit lighter, the liquid itself. Um, but yeah, this is called the Gold Multi-Purpose Dry Oil. Oh, okay, perfect. You can actually use this on your face, body, and in your hair as well. The Treasure Map Glow Brick. This one is called Two Cheek Balms, Lip and Cheek Balms in Dusky Pink and Beach Bronze. Got a P4L Lip Peptide Eye and Face Palette. Oh, I love the shade of that blush. I'm enjoying that kind of barbie pink blush at the moment okay what do we have in here from neon i love a neon package the real luxury cocooning shower cream i bet that's really moisturizing step one close your door and light your real luxury scented candle to scent your space with a moment of calm so you might have guessed it this is the scent to distress in lavender jasmine and sandalwood smells so good if you want to see what their candles look like they're just very simple i love having their candles burning in my bathroom and then it says step two turn on your shower step into luxury and apply the new real luxury cocooning shower cream oh and they've even included a little shower puff step three apply our lightweight real luxury multi-mineral body milk i've actually been using this um post shower as a really light moisturizer it almost it's so light that it i suppose with it being called a body milk it almost soaks straight into your skin so you're not left with like a real sticky heavy moisturized feeling which i know some people love a thick moisturizer i'm the opposite i don't like to feel sticky i like to feel dry and i've been really enjoying this so we've got another one of those and they've also included a scent to distress um essential oil as well which i like to use these in my oil diffusers oh, thank you neom so so much what a luxury gosh it's like christmas coming home okay we've got another parcel here from living proof i love that dry shampoo that they do so this is the brand new living proof density serum oh anti-gray complex we need that now now that we're in our 30s reduces shedding increases hair density and minimizes the appearance of gray hair hair in as little as 90 days so I, this is the sort of products that i would definitely use around my hair line where i thin a little bit start by applying two to three dropfuls directly to dry or damp scalp massage and do not rinse oh well we'll pop a bit on now then shall we two to three droplets full dropperfuls so there's one i'll just do two for now was that quite a lot oh no it's quite light oh yeah that smells lovely as well what does that smell of i don't know but it feels nice as you can tell you can just pop it straight on dry without the need to rinse it out from cup she worked with cup she recently so maybe this is another item that i ordered after working with them yeah, I think I remember ordering this and it didn't arrive in time for the collaboration that I did with them. But it's basically a, this is actually an ideal type of clothing item to wear on a day like today. Because, well, more so if I was sitting in the garden rather than getting stuff done. But it's strapless and it's a little, just a dress. So it's a bit crinkled. So I'm going to 
run this through the wash ironer and wear this on a day like today when I'm tanning or just pottering in the garden and I want no strap marks in the sunshine. Hopefully my cup she discount code is still valid as well for that. Oh, got a box from La Roche Posay. I've ran out of my SPF that I love that they do. There's a couple of SPFs that I enjoy using, but the La Roche Posay one is especially good for if like me, you get sensitive skin. It's just, it's notoriously good. And this actually, again, yeah. Every day is a sunscreen day. This would have been great for holiday. Although on my face, I wear SPF every single day anyway. Um, so we have loads of goodies in here. The classic, the one that I was just talking about, the SPF 50 plus invisible fluid super light ultra absorbing again doesn't leave your face feeling thick and sun creamy they've also included oh an oil control fluid one not tried that one but that one would be good for my complexion and then a 50 plus invisible easy application anti-shine mist apply over makeup water resistant sensitive oily skin Excited to give that a try. Then we've also got a hydrating lotion, 50 plus, UVB and UVA, water and sweat resistant. Yeah, see, this would have been perfect for holiday. And then also the ultra protection 50 plus spray. Again, very water, sweat and sand resistant. Good for a beach trip. Good for sensitive skin and leaves no white marks as well. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, this is from a PR company, so I don't actually know what's inside. I've got a few different branded products from this um, PR company. From Gatineau, their Golden Glow Gradual Tan. I might use this since getting back from holiday just to keep what kind of a tan that I have. Not that it's much of a tan, but for me it is. In terms of a natural tan, anyway. From Lanolets, I love Lanolets. Uh, products. Their lip balms are just ultra hydrating, great to use. These all have SPF 30 in as well. Rhubarb, perfect nude, and then tinted lip balm. Oh, does this have a shade? Rose, this one is. It's quite thick. I don't know if I've tried their uh, tinted one before. Oh yeah, wow, that is quite tinted. That's quite light actually. I thought that was gonna be a bit too dark for me, but that's really pretty, like a kind of baby pink. And then they also sent over, what was I just saying about hair curling products earlier? This from Trepadora Curl Therapy. I've actually not heard of this brand before, but I'll be intrigued to give this a try. It's in Bamboo Ginseng Curling Mousse. And then, That scared me so much. It was a parcel, but not for me. It's an Amazon, an Amazon one for Tommy. Did that scare you too? I would take you out, but I think it's too warm for you today. Good job you got that nice long walk in this morning, huh? Yes, but it's too warm. It's too warm for doggies. Oh, thank you for the kisses, button. Thank you for those hot, sticky, doggy kisses. Uh, QVC. Get holiday ready with the summer holiday three piece collection from Estee Lauder. So in here we've got a day wear which has uh, SPF 15 in it. I just feel like Estee Lauder is like a classic, isn't it? Classic brand. Advanced night repair, especially for this. I go through phases of using this depending on what skincare I'm doing when, but it is a lovely formula and product. Bronze Goddess. Again, I think this is like a well-loved fragrance. I don't think I've ever smelt it before. I think for a lot of people, this is their classic holiday scent. So let's give it a go. I didn't take a holiday fragrance with me this time, which I usually do. If I'm going somewhere new or on holiday, I like to get a different fragrance that I don't usually use. This would have been perfect to take with me had it arrived before holiday, but let's give it a, well, even though I've, already sprayed the Jo Malone one but oh okay yeah I can see why people like that it's quite I would say quite 
would be nice for evening in a holiday, on a holiday. It's summery and light, and it literally smells like holiday, but evening holidays. Although having said that, this evening's holiday fragrance every single night in COS was mosquito <laughs> repellent smell. Because ultimately that's what you just end up spritzing all over you before going to dinner anyway. Um, although to be fair, I only got a couple of little bites. I got one on my face which is going down now, one on my elbow, I think that's it. Um, but I do think taking antihistamines helped because that's the first holiday that myself and Tom both had antihistamines every single day. When we did yoga on the final day, we were, we were next to a girl, or oh, Tom was next to a girl, and we both said afterwards, oh, did you see those girls' legs? And, that, and he was like, yes, I was thinking the exact same, covered in bites. And she was obviously at the same place we were, so, yeah, mosquito spray every single night, I think, did the trick, as well as an antihistamine. Um, but anyway, oh, I've just created more mess for myself. Brilliant. <laughs> just great. Oh, do we get changed first? Yeah, I think we do. Maybe have an episode of Love Island and then crack on with the tidying up and the cleaning. Right, we've unpacked, we've got piles, we've got washing, lights, darks, and then all the bits that are fine to go upstairs and be put away. So time to get a wash load on. having a tidy front room. I am warm, very warm. We've had, hold on, let me just mute the TV. We've had a good clear up of the garden. Tom has mowed the lawn, you might be able to tell. I have trimmed back all of the herbs that needed to be trimmed. Tom's just re um, washing the patio, like jet washing it. He's also jet washed down there. We managed to get the Gosney oven down and the legs for the table, but the table top is still here because it's probably too heavy for just me and Tom to do ourselves. Uh, but that is where the table's gonna go down there. So I just need to get on the hunt now for buying some new chairs. The Gosney itself, now that it's been cleaned, it's gonna go over in the corner um, and we're gonna use that until the kitchen area is built. We're feeling good, feeling a lot more organized. And I'm excited once this patio is clear, it makes us 
makes it feel like we've got a whole lot more space. Let me just see if I can show you where I put the patio table for now, which I've just popped down there with the olive tree and some pots as well. You can see all the herbs that I've cut back. But yeah, this is how it's looking. As for me, it is shower time. I am feeling very sticky. It's very humid outside today. So it's time to jump in the shower. I've already taken my makeup off, as you can tell, makeup free. <laughs> um, a bit of skincare, a bit of fresh pajamas, that kind of thing. Still got all of my washing to put away, but there's just one more load left to do. And then once that is washed and clean, oh my God, look at the state of me. I can't take myself seriously right now. Once that is all freshly clean from the dryer, I'll bring those up and pop those away probably tomorrow. So anyway, I'm gonna close off this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you have enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.